Yo, this is such a vlog, and I'm going to tell you how it happened. I recorded about 700 or 800 little audio files on my handy phone, and then I decided to uh, look at them in groups of five and then make a video about the thing per five that was actually the most interesting. But sometimes when I listen to all five of the things that I've recorded uh, sequentially, none of them are actually worth making a video about. I mean, maybe they are, like if I really try, but they aren't uh, as, there could be more. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to describe one of these sequences now, or I'm going to try. With happiness studies, that is the psychological research on happiness, they should find the most common career that has the highest uh, level of personal satisfaction and happiness. Then once they know that, they should see if it's possible to actually cause more employment at that career, because that would benefit a larger number of people, because more people would be happy. Now, thinking about that, what makes people in China happy? Because there are a lot of Chinese people. China has 1.4 billion people as of 2010, even though it's 2011 right now. Yet they only have about uh, between 400 and 500 million online correspondence accounts as of 2010. What are the other two-thirds of those Chinese people doing? And what among uh, the Chinese is the kind of employment that makes people happiest? Finding out what that is and then creating more of that kind of employment could be very beneficial. Also, I re reminded uh, everybody at the, my recordings to create uh, YouTube videos of attractive dancing girls. Uh, YouTube videos I've read uh, give $2,500 for each million views. And even I'm capable of making videos that get more than 100,000 views, which means that a beautiful dancing girl could easily earn uh, $250 every hour of her time on YouTube if she approached it creatively and seductively. Perhaps it might even make her happy as well.